solved problems solved problems first problem find the domains domains of the following real valued functions real value functions first problem f of x is equal to 1 by 6x minus x square minus 5 so now solution in order to find out domain of this function this function is in the form of 1 by g of x this function is in the form of 1 by g of x this 1 by g of x is defined only when g of x does not equal to 0 if g of x is equal to 0 it becomes 1 by 0 1 by 0 is not defined so that's why we are providing here g of x does not equal to 0 this condition is to be satisfied so that means this f of x is defined when 6x minus x square minus 5 does not equal to 0 so f of x is defined when 6x minus x square minus 5 does not equal to 0 now multiply minus 1 on both sides x square minus 6x plus 5 does not equal to 0 let us solve so this can be written x square minus 3x minus 2x or we can write simple minus 5x minus x plus 5 does not equal to 0 x common x minus 5 minus 1 common x minus 5 does not equal to 0 so x minus 5 common we get x minus 1 does not equal to 0 so here x minus 5 does not equal to 0 and x minus 1 does not equal to 0 so x does not equal to 5 and x does not equal to 1 therefore x does not equal to 1 and 5 these both values are to be deleted from the real number system so that means for all real values the function is defined except 1 and 5 so hence domain is equal to r minus set of real numbers minus this set of these two elements are to be deleted subtracted so that is 1 comma 5second second one f of x equals to 1 by root x square minus a square where a greater than 0 positive in order to find out domain of this function this is in the form of 1 by root of g of x if g of x is equal to 0 it becomes 1 by 0 so 1 by 0 is not defined that means x square minus a square should not be equal to 0 and since root is there for root of negative number we get a complex number so that's why the root of the x square minus a square must be positive so that means here solution this suppose it is in the form of 1 by root g of x 
is defined for g of x greater than 0. So, that is why f of x is defined when when x square minus a square greater than 0. So, this is in the form of a square minus b square. We can write x plus a into x minus a greater than 0. We have in equation solution x minus alpha into x minus beta greater than 0 providing alpha less than beta x less than alpha and x greater than beta. Using this concept x plus a and x minus a greater than 0 we can write x less than minus a sorry this is r we have to write or x less than a. So, that means actually here. So, now domain we can write like this domain is equal to minus infinity to minus a open bracket union and a to positive infinity or this can be written capital R capital R minus here set of minus a comma a. Next problem third one f of x is equal to root of x plus 2 into x minus 3. Now solution f of x is equal to root of x plus 2 into x minus 3 x plus 2 into x minus 3 may be 0 root of 0 is defined and it should be negative that means the root g of x form is defined when g of x greater than or equal to 0 that means now f of x is defined when x plus 2 into x minus 3 greater than or equal to 0. So, now we have the formula x minus alpha into x minus beta greater than or equal to 0 alpha less than beta. Here we can write x less than or equal to alpha or x greater than or equal to beta. Using this concept, this can be written x less than or equal to minus 2 or x greater than or equal to 3. Therefore, domain is equal to minus infinity to minus 2 closed this open union or means closed. 3 to infinity or we can write r minus open minus 2 comma 3. Next problem. So, now fourth one. Fourth one is f of x is equal to root of x minus alpha into beta minus x here 0 less than alpha, alpha less than beta. To find this one here f of x is equal to root of x minus alpha and beta minus x. Just like this problem only 
f of x c is defined is defined when x minus alpha into beta minus x greater than or equal to 0. Multiply minus on both sides. So, x minus alpha into x minus beta symbol reverses less than or equal to 0. Now, we have the formula in algebra x minus alpha into x minus beta less than or equal to 0 alpha less than beta. Here x lies between alpha and beta. So, alpha less than or equal to x, x less than or equal to beta. So, here we get same alpha less than or equal to x less than or equal to beta. So, domain is equal to closed alpha comma beta.